Uh, the Minister. Uh, in commending the European Parliament Elections Amendment Bill 2019 to the House, I'm asking the Dáil to continue the long-established practice of implementing in full the recommendations of, of independent electoral constituency reviews. As deputies in this House are aware, a decision on the number of representatives to be elected to the European Parliament in each uh, member state for the 2019 to 2024 parliamentary term was made by the European Council on the 28th of June last. That Council decision establishing the composition of the European Parliament provides for 13 members to be elected in Ireland uh, for the 2019 to 2024 parliamentary term, up from 11 seats uh, in the current Parliament and indeed the last few uh, European Parliament elections. The Council decision reduces and redistributes European Parliament seats um, following the decision by the UK to exit the European Union on the 29th of March uh, of this year. The new composition will reduce the size of the Parliament from 751 to 705 MEPs, and of the 73 seats vacated uh, by the United Kingdom, 27 will be reallocated uh, to better reflect the principle of, di of degressive proportionality. Uh, the 27 seats will be distributed to some 14 member states, including Ireland, with no member state losing a seat. This change necessitated a review of the European Parliament uh, constituencies in Ireland, with the result that a European Parliament constituency committee was established uh, by order under Section 5, uh, subsection 1A of the Electoral Act uh, 1997 on the 24th of July last. The committee was required to report to the Count Corum no later than two months after its establishment, that is by the 24th of September, and was required to hold a public consultation process uh, to inform its deliberations. The public consultation was held over uh, the month of August 2018 and a total of 20 submissions uh, were received by the committee in advance of developing and finalising its report. In arriving at its recommendations, the committee was required to have regard to the following terms of reference. The total number of representatives to be elected in the state to the European Par Parliament shall be such number as may be specified for the time being pursuant to the treaties governing the European communities, i.e. 13 uh, in this case. Reasonable equality of representation between, uh, as between constituencies, each constituency returning three, four or five MEPs the avoidance of any breach to county boundaries as far as practicable, each constituency being composed of contiguous areas, geographic considerations including significant physical features uh, and the extent of and the density of population in each constituency, and subject to the above, uh, continuity in relation to the arrangement of constituencies. The committee's report was presented to the Count Court on the 24th of September last, uh, after which it was laid before both houses the report was also circulated to the Oireachtas members uh, and to MEPs on that date. In summary, the report on European Parliament constituencies 2018 recommended that the state continue to be divided into three constituencies as follows. A four-seat Dublin constituency comprising of the counties of Dunleary, Ratdown, uh, Fingal and South Dublin and the City of Dublin. In effect, the existing Dublin constituency gains one additional seat but remains geographically unchanged. A four-seat Midlands North West constituency comprising of the counties of Cavan, Donegal, Galway, Kildare, Leitrim, Longford, Lowes, Mayo, Mead, Monaghan, Roscommon, Sligo and Westmead and the city of Galway. While the number of MEPs in the Midlands North West constituency does not change, its geographical territory is reduced by the transfer of Leash and Offaly into the South constituency. And then a five-seat South constituency comprising of the counties of Carlow, Clare, Cork, Kerry, Kilkenny, Leash, Offaly, Tipperary, Wexford and Wicklow, and the cities and counties of Limerick and Waterford, and the city of Cork. In summary, this constituency gains an additional seat with its territory increasing to include counties uh, Leash and Offaly in order to maintain reasonable uh, equality of representation. The bill before the House tonight provides for the implementation of the recommendations in the report uh, that I've just outlined, the European Parliament Constituency's 2018 report, in full and without change. This approach is consistent with the established practice since the first independent constituency commission reported in 1980. Um, 
It is a short bill which provides for the election of 13 MEPs in Ireland across the three recommended constituencies. In addition, the bill provides for a number of technical amendments to our European Parliament Elections Act of 1997 in order to implement certain requirements set out in the EU Council decision of the 13th of July 2018. This Council decision, which aims to modernise the European Union's electoral law, known as the Act of 1976, as well as to strengthen citizens' participation in future European elections, was adopted in July of last year under the special legislative procedure following more than two years of negotiations between the European institutions. The Council decision inserts a number of provisions into the Act of 1976, uh, some mandatory and some voluntary, which are intended to take effect in advance of the holding of the elections to the European Parliament scheduled to take place in Member States between the 23rd and 26th of May uh, next. The Bill has seven sections. Section 1 provides for the principal, uh, uh, Section 1 provides that the principal Act referred to in the Bill is the European Parliament Elections Act 1997. Um, it is the Act that is being amended. Section 2 amends Section 10 of our European Parliament uh, Elections Act 1997 to extend the minimum period of time by which uh, a polling day order must be made, announcing the date for the holding of a poll for an election to the European Parliament. This amendment um, is consequential to the amendments to, in Section 4 of the Bill to extend the time frame for, giving, for the giving of uh, the notice of election as set out in Rule 2 of the second schedule of the European Parliament Elections Act 1997. A polling day order will now be made not less than 60 days in advance of, of uh, polling day at elections to the European Parliament, up from the current uh, 50 days. Section 3 amends Section 15 of the European Parliament Elections Act 1997 in order to provide uh, that, that the counties, the cities uh, and counties and the cities listed in the new third schedule to the principal act of the bill um, will be those in existence on the 1st of September 2018. Um, Section 4 provides for amendments to rules 2, 5 and 50 of the second schedule to the European Parliament Elections Act 1997. The extension of the current time frame for the giving of the notice of election as set in Rule 2 will ensure that the mandatory requirements under Council decision of July 2018 in respect of the three-week deadline for receipt of nominations as well as the six-week deadline for the commencement of the exchange of information will be achieved. A notice of election will now be issued by the returning officer at least 45 days uh, disregarding excluded days before polling day, up from the current 35 days. Separately, the amendments to Rules 5 and 50 will allow candidates standing for election to the European Parliament the option to include on their ballot paper the name of any European political party to which their national political party may be affiliated to. This application uh, of this provision will be entirely voluntary, and whether the name of a European political party will be included on the ballot paper would be a matter for prospective candidates and their national uh, political parties, if any, uh, to decide. Section 5 provides for the substitution of the third schedule of the Principal Act. The new third schedule sets out the name of each uh, constituency, uh, the counties and cities that each constituency will be comprised of, and the number of members that will be elected for each constituency in the European elections held after the 1st of January 2019. The major change from the current configuration is that an additional seat will be allocated to Dublin and the South constituencies, uh, as I've outlined previously. And in addition, the counties of Leash and Offaly will move from Midlands North West to the South constituency to provide for a better balance of representation. In spite of these moves, there remains a, a considerable degree of uh, continuity in the arrangements of the constituencies, with a three constituency arrangement continuing to apply, apply in the state. In addition, the population per member in the three constituencies ranges from uh, just under 337,000 uh, to just, um, just over 380,000, which is a very narrow range in terms of the variance of population per MEP. Thus, uh, there is a very fair balance of representation between the three constituencies. Section 6 is a consequential amendment from the changes proposed in Section 4 and amends Section 25 of the Electoral Act 1992 to allow national political parties the option of including on the register of political parties the name of any European political group or party to which they may be affiliated. Section 7 is a standard provision uh, providing for the Bill's short title, collective citation and its, uh, its construction. The bill has been drafted on the basis that the UK will withdraw from the European Union on the 29th of March next. However, as you are all 
aware and can appreciate the timing in relation to the UK's withdrawal from the European Union is currently less than clear in light of recent decisions made in the House of Commons on the withdrawal agreement. In the event that, the, that withdrawal does not take place as envisaged before the start of the 2019 to 2024 parliamentary term, the provisions of Article 3.2 of the June uh, uh, 2018 Council decision will come into effect. In summary, this would mean that in the case of Ireland, 13 members would be elected to the European Parliament, with 11, 11 taking up office immediately, while the remaining two would only take up office uh, when the UK exits the European Union and when that becomes illegal, legally effective. Prudence would dictate that we make provision for a delayed withdrawal, given the uncertainties that currently prevail. Accordingly, and if necessary, I will bring forward amendments at the committee stage of the bill to provide for such a scenario and for any other such matters that may uh, arise on foot of the ongoing Brexit process. As I said in my introduction, it's a short bill. It has the specific purpose of providing for new constituencies in which 13 MEPs will be elected to represent Ireland in the European Parliament in the next term. It is now a matter for the Oireachtas to revise our European constituencies, and I look forward to the debate um, and the contributions of members on this issue in this regard. Thank you.